Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. Uh, I want to thank you for coming back and watching our videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about eliminating toxic relationships from your life and the effect that they can have on you and your business. Um, obviously we, we're going to gear this towards real estate, but re really this could be for any aspect of your life. Uh, before I get into it though, make sure you click the like button. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure we're putting out tons of new content every week. Uh, leave a comment, let us know what you like, let us know what you didn't like. People are not afraid to do that. And make sure to share it with somebody. If you feel this is a good video, uh, share it with somebody. Put it on your social media. We'd love for you to put it out for us. So, with that being said, toxic relationships. Um, a lot of times toxic relationships will come from people that are close to you. Friends, family, coworkers, uh, they're, it's, it's, it's awful when it comes from those people. Um, they, they mean well, you know, they mean well, but part of it is just, it's part of their personality. It's who they are. Whenever somebody starts a new business venture, say for example, real estate, uh, and you tell somebody about it maybe one of these people who are toxic and you say hey i'm excited i'm going to get into real estate investing uh, a lot of times they'll come at you with a lot of negativity they had an uncle who had a friend who had a brother in another state that tried it and it failed and and everything like that and in some cases these people mean well when they try to tell you all these negative things you know of course they're looking out for you uh, at the same time some people are just negative and I think one of the things is that they are absolutely scared to death that you might actually have the ability to make it and become successful. I think one of the, that's one of the things that they are truly afraid of. Now, if you're just getting started in real estate uh, and you have told some people that you're getting started and you start to get some type of negative response from people, you want to cut that out. And I'm not saying that you got to cut them out of your life completely. But what, what I used to do, and, and I got an example of, of, of how this worked here for myself, but um, especially if it's like a family member, you can't just cut them out of your life, but maybe not necessarily tell them everything that you're doing because you don't want to get the constant uh, negative feedback from them. So uh, you just have to not tell them what you're doing. And, and maybe in extreme cases, you really need to maybe cut some type of ties with them uh, just because if they're going to continue to be negative, they're at some point in time, the negative negativity may overpower you if you are not putting in enough positive influence. And I'll talk about what I think some positive influences are here a little bit later. So, uh, the biggest thing that you can do to, and it's not like you're really trying to combat these people, but, uh, to, to do it, to make it, to become successful, to do what you said you were going to do, to stick with it, regardless of how long it takes, they will actually see you, because they're watching, of course, you know, they're watching you, they know that you're in real estate now, they know that you're going to do something different, they know that you've worked at your job for however long, you hate your job, and they're right there with you to, to, to keep you hating your job, but they're watching, and they're going to, they're watching to see if you're going to make it happen. If you make it happen and you become successful, you will silence them forever. But if you don't make it happen, you will never hear the end of it. So <clears throat> I got involved in real estate back in 2007 when I moved to Memphis, Tennessee. And I, I moved to Memphis in June of 2007. And I, I remember this. What I'm going to tell you is I remember this just like it was yesterday. Uh, brand new to real estate, didn't really know what was going on. Started to learn the business, started to make sales. And within, let's see, from June until, I, it was like October or November, I remember I had a great month. It was, it was incredible for me because I think I made $20,000 in the month of October 2007. I barely made $20,000 as a hotel chef full, working full time for a whole year. So for me, this was big. This was huge. And I remember I called my mom on the phone. And I love my mom to death. And I called her, and I remember saying something like, Mom, you're never going to believe this. I got some exciting news. And I said, I made $20,000 this month. I made these sales. I, I was excited. And then there was a pause. And, and 
what I was waiting to hear was, oh son, I'm so proud of you. You've come such a long way. You're just, I'm so happy. That's what I was waiting to hear. But what I actually heard was something like this. <clears throat> oh my God, are you setting money aside for taxes? And right there, I just kept hearing wow, 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 wow. It was awful, it was just noise. And I was kind of crushed, actually, to tell you the truth. And, you know, I, I after that, I'd tell my mom of some other exciting things that would happen, and it was still kind of the same thing. I basically just kind of had got to the point where whenever something cool like that happened, like I made a big fat commission from a sale or whatever, I would just maybe not tell her about that anymore because even though she, her intentions were good, that's just her personality. That's how she is. She thinks about those things. I could care less about the taxes at that time. So uh, I just wanted to hear that someone was proud of me. So um, one of the things that you need to do when you're starting anything new, especially in real estate, is, is you need to surround yourself with other people who were involved in real estate. You want to uh, get yourself around other people who are hungry and motivated. You even want to be more around people who have achieved the level of success that you've achieved. You want to be around those people. Uh, you want to fill yourself with just a ton of maybe inspirations, the word motivation, uh, business positivity. Like for me, for example, I love listening to Gary V and his, his podcast, his, uh, his audiobooks. I'd suggest... Uh, purchasing the ebook, just a plug for Gary here for a minute, but Crushing It by Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. It's such a good, I would say read, but it's a good listen. Uh, I love it. Uh, things like that. Get on, get on bigger pockets and just connect with other people. Uh, try to join your local real estate investment club and just surround yourself with people of like-minded uh, mentality. Those are the people who are going to lift you up and keep you positive through the negative times. So, I mean, e even myself, I've been in real estate for 13, 14 years now. It's not like we're immune to these things still. I mean, we still have negativity coming at us. There are down times that happen from time to time. And, uh, you know, we still have to motivate ourselves and, and, and keep positive as well. So basically with that being said, you know, we're kind of wrapping this video up the end of the day, cut out the toxic relationships, stay active, make it happen, listen to, take in positive, surround yourself with, with other people who are more successful than you, and stick with it. Become that small percentage of people that who make it because the reality is is if this was easy everybody would do it and there's and the people who are negative they love the fact that they want you to fail it's 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 their thing so if you like this video make sure to click the like button share it on social media tell a friend leave a comment let us know what you like didn't like subscribe and we will see you in the next video